If you see a doctor about a painful or inflamed joint and they tell you you have gout, you probably think the doctor's been reading too many Victorian history books, but gout is very common. Let me tell you about it in today's Sick Notes. Hello, my name is Dr. Ed Hope and welcome back to Sick Notes where we jargon bust medical terms. Today we're talking about gout. The symptoms of gout are an extremely painful joint that may also be red, hot and swollen. It usually affects one joint, most likely the big toe, but it can affect multiple joints in the feet and hands. Gout is an example of an arthritis, arth meaning joint, as in articulate, as in an articulated lorry has a truck and a trailer, and itis meaning inflammation. So arthritis means inflammation of the joint, and there are lots of different types of arthritis. If a doctor diagnoses gout, they would have had to have ruled out septic arthritis, which is an infection in the joint. This is a medical emergency, and people tend to be generally unwell with fevers and shivers. So how does gout cause an inflamed joint? Gout is caused by high levels of uric acid in the blood. This uric acid precipitates out of the blood and collects within the joint space, forming crystals. Like if you overload your tea with sugar, there's going to be sugar crystals at the bottom of your cup. And exactly the same thing happens with high uric acid levels in the blood. It precipitates out and forms crystals in the joint space. So let's see what this does to the joint. I'm using Nina's knee here, but as I said earlier, it usually affects the big toe. In a normal joint, the ends of the bones are covered in a beautiful smooth layer of cartilage to make sure there's not very much friction. And this has some synovial fluid around it, which helps lubrication, again aiding the smooth movement. In gout, crystals form within this synovial fluid. So you can imagine now how painful it is. Every time you move the joint, these crystals become crushed and cause pain to the joints. And this irritation from the crystals is what causes the body to have an inflammatory reaction and makes the joint red hot and swollen. Uric acid precipitates out of the blood at lower temperatures. That's why it's more common in the big toe because your feet are a little bit colder than the rest of the body. It's also more likely to occur in joints that have had a recent trauma or joints that have had a bit of wear and tear, what we call osteoarthritis. So how do we treat a flare up of gout? Well, the first thing we need to do is rest the joint. We then also need to elevate it if we can and also keep it cool. So some ice bags wrapped in a towel. All these help reduce the inflammation. Your doctor may also prescribe anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen, although these can have the side effect of causing stomach problems. So they might also give you another medication to help offset this called a PPI. Another anti-inflammatory called colchicine is also often used. As the old adage goes, prevention is better than the cure. So reducing the amount of food you eat that has uric acid in can prevent future attacks. These are foods that contain things like yeast extract, red meat, oily fish and seafood. I put a full list in the description below. And other lifestyle changes have been proven to reduce the risk of attacks. Things like maintaining a healthy weight, regular exercise, drinking plenty of water, avoiding alcohol, and avoiding excessive sugar intake. Just generally all round good advice really. And if gout attacks still occur despite all these lifestyle changes, then there are medications that can help reduce the amount of uric acid produced by the body. So I hope you found this video useful. I put some clarifications and some useful links in the description below. If you like this, you can subscribe or share the video. Thank you for watching.